Hey, boys and girls, this book is called Jack and the Beanstalk, and it's a fairy tale story book series. Jack and the Beanstalk, written by Naomi McMillan, illustrated by Aisha Wright. Once upon a time, there was a poor boy named Jack. He and his mother didn't have enough to eat. And when there was nothing left at all, Jack set out for the market to sell the family cow. As he went on his way, Jack met an old man who offered him magic beans in exchange for the cow. Magic beans, thought Jack. Won't mother be surprised? And so, he happily accepted the five small beans. But, when Jack reached home and showed his mother the magic beans, she was furious. How could you sell our cow for those worthless beans, she cried. There aren't even enough of them to eat. She snatched the beans and tossed them out the window. Jack hung his head in shame. The next morning, before sunrise, Jack woke up and discovered a giant beanstalk growing right outside his window. The beans were magical after all, he thought. Jack began to climb the beanstalk. Where would it lead? Up, up, up. He went through the morning mist and clouds. And at the top, he found a road that led to a castle where a lady giant was working in the garden. Excuse me, said Jack. I'm hungry. Could you please give me something to eat? Very well she said, but don't let my husband see you, for he likes to have little boys for breakfast. Inside, Jack happily munched on a piece of toast until he heard the thunder of giant footsteps. The giant's wife hid Jack inside the oven and busied herself setting the table. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a little one, said the giant. Uh, you're mistaken, said his wife. You're smelling the bones of the boy you had for supper yesterday. Luckily, he believed her. The giant ate a huge meal and fell asleep. From his hiding place, Jack noticed a bag of gold coins lying on the table. Silently, Jack crept over to the table and grabbed the bag of coins. Then he slipped out of the castle door and raced back to the beanstalk and made his way home. Jack and his mother ate very well for a time. But then one day, Jack reached into the bag of coins and discovered there were none left. Once again, he and his mother were in need. Perhaps I'll find more gold at the giant's castle, Jack thought. <clears throat> Jack climbed back up the beanstalk and asked the giant's wife for something to eat. I once fed a boy who stole my husband's bag of gold, she replied, squinting at him. I've, uh, I've heard of that boy, said Jack. Uh, I, I remember his name if I weren't so hungry. And so the giant's wife agreed to feed him. Moments later, Jack heard the thunder of giant footsteps and a booming, fee fi fo fum
He ran behind the oven door. And after the giant had eaten, his wife set before him a goose that laid golden eggs. Before long, the giant was snoring. Jack grabbed the magic goose and tiptoed out the castle door. And once home, he asked the goose to lay a golden egg. And to his amazement, the goose did. Surely our worries are over, thought Jack. But one morning, the magic goose stopped laying eggs. <coughs> Jack couldn't understand why. The answer must be in the castle, thought Jack. So he decided to travel there once more. This time, Jack entered the castle on his own and hid in a copper pot. From there, he heard, Fee, fi, fo, fum. Jack peeked out and saw the giant sitting at the table with a golden harp that sang to him. And as soon as the giant was asleep, Jack grabbed the golden harp and ran. But the harp called out, Master! Master! And woke the giant. Jack ran faster than the wind, but even so, the giant was quickly catching up. Jack made good time down the beanstalk, but so did the giant. And as he got closer to the ground, Jack saw his mother and called out, Bring me the axe! Hurry! As soon as he hit the ground, Jack grabbed the axe and swung it with all his might, cutting into the trunk of the beanstalk. One, two, three whacks were all it took, and down came the beanstalk and the giant, both crashing to the earth. The golden harp enjoyed its new home and sang happily each morning. And once again, the magic goose laid her golden eggs. And at last, the days of worry were over, for Jack and his mother and they lived happily ever after. This book is called Jack and the Beanstalk. I hope you enjoyed it.